Every week, our good friends in Des Moines, the Iowa filmmakers, give us a couple of their takes. One recapping the past weekend, one previewing the next one. So today, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We thought we'd get a little season recap on the teams they care most about, and we would do it via Skype. So without further ado, we bring in the Iowa nice guy sitting in his comfy chair in front of the fireplace hanging out with us. So here we go, nice guy. We see the Iowa helmet, the Iowa State helmet every week. Iowa's a mess. Four and eight. Kirk Ferentz has some $20 million buyout. Your, the, the Huskers are ranked 12th in the country. Iowa State started hot, fell flat. What do you make of the season you just saw? Well, first off, there's been a rumor out there that I hate Nebraska. And I just want to clear it up by saying I don't hate Nebraska. As you probably don't know, Dari, because of your Oklahoma education, most forms of gambling are illegal in Nebraska. So many of the bug eaters come across the Missouri River, or as they call it, the Crick, to do their gambling in Iowa. And some people call gambling a tax on stupidity. I like to call it equally and interchangeably a donation from Nebraska, and so we say, so we, shall we say, as I may say there. And I just would like to say that thank you to Nebraska for their mm, financial backing of our great state. Yes, yeah. council bluffs would not be the bluffs without Nebraska, we know that. So now let's look at Iowa, four and eight. Doesn't look like Kirk Ferentz is going anywhere. What has to happen now with Iowa? What's the state of Iowa football here, nice guy? Well, as we found out from Kirk Ferentz's last press conference of the year, which happened, not commenting, just stating a fact, in November as opposed to January, he is retaining much maligned offensive coordinator Greg Davis. And so if the Hawkeyes want to increase their chances of being good next year, it will probably be important for Greg Davis to learn how to diagram plays and call plays for football players as opposed to three-toed sloths, which appeared to be some confusion with him this year. Yes, I suppose football players would make making uh, winning football games easier. How about Iowa State? Started strong? They finished going south. Explain to us what you think of Iowa State's situation right now. They will certainly. Nice guy, go to a bowl game. Well, last year, or, or last week, I should say, uh, Iowa State lost to West Virginia, which there's no shame in that. I mean, they are a national championship contender, if I remember from early episodes in College Football yes, Daily. Is that, yeah. is that right, Dari? Yeah, uh, that was... Um, I believe I may have said what, that, that one Dari, or a hundred times. I can't hear you over the bandwagon <laughs> jumping. What, what, I, anyway, yes. Yes. look, <laughs> Coach Paul Rhodes is one of the best and most entertaining coaches in all of college football, which is why people have started to call him the Mad Hatter of the North. But look, mm. Iowa State is growing. They play one of the toughest schedules every year, and they're going to continue to get better and better with the infrastructure that Jamie Pollard has built, no doubt. Okay, so you're high on, on the Cyclones, not so much on the, on, the, uh, on the Hawkeye future, but what about those Huskers? Now, you've made no, mo no bones about it. You're not a big Nebraska fan. I know they, they help support Iowa's economy, which is great. Ten and two, though, playing for a Big Ten championship. Surely, with all the success they've shown this season, you're ready to say, go Big Red. Am I right, nice guy? Well, sure, if we can change the word go to something more expletive that I can't say on ESPNU, that'd be fine with me. But hey, look, Nebraska has a lot to be proud of. They are playing in a premier conference. They are playing a premier 7-5 and five Wisconsin team. I mean, they, Wisconsin is one of the best teams at 7-5 and five in the entire nation. They should be as proud of this accomplishment as they are of their tobacco-spitting ability, their fashionable straw hats, and many other things that are quintessentially Nebraskan. Okay, okay, well done. Uh, over the course of the season, you've also mentioned the name Gene Chizik uh, more than a few times. Of course, two years at Iowa State, won five ball games, lost 19, and recently he was fired by Auburn. Uh, does this sit okay with you that Auburn would fire the once uh, Cyclone head coach Gene Chizik? Well, I feel pretty terrible, you know, yeah. as if you remember back to earlier episodes of my great segment on your little program. Mm. You'll remember a Gene Chizik paper chain, which we counted down the days until Gene Chizik would be fired. And I would love to show that to you now, but Gene Chizik's coaching ability has made that paper chain disappear. And I would just like to say that I was struck by the comparisons of the two coaches in the Iron Bowl last week between Nick Saban and Gene Chizik. Both of them left their last employer like a colt out to Baltimore. I know that's an NFL joke mm. for a college football fan, but still, we stick with it. me. That's the type of highbrow, highbrow humor we do here. Yes. 
And I would just like to say that's pretty much where the comparison ends because Gene Chizik will not go down in history like Nick Saban is one of the greatest coaches of all time. Instead, he'll go down in history as the man who proved that anyone with a windbreaker can win a national title. Also, cheating helps. But you may say, <laughs> wow, Iowa, nice guy. You're, you're kicking a man while he's down. And, and I have to tell you, I'm not. I'm actually here to help. So today I've prepared the top five jobs Gene Chizik would do or be really perfect for now that he's no longer counting on a job in college football. So mm. I introduced the top five jobs Gene Chizik would be perfect for. Oh, May okay. I have a drum roll, please, Dari, please. Brrr. Thank you. Okay. Number five, snake oil salesman. <laughs> Number four, politics. Number three, <laughs> facade architect. Number two, professional wrestling manager. And number one, drum roll, please. Brrr. Number one job Gene Chizik would be perfect for, host of college football. I knew daily. it. I knew That's it. it. That's I, the I, list. Nice guy. I knew it. I, I, I knew where you were going. I almost answered it for you. I knew where you were going. But you know what, well, nice guy? Well, that's just because you know yourself, Dari. Yes, exactly right. And I also know that you don't hate us because, nice guy, you like us. We're good for nice guy. We're good for nice guy. Whether nice guy wants to admit or not, we're good for nice guy. And we'll get a prediction segment from nice guy tomorrow, right? That is correct. All right. Nice guy, good seeing you. A little different here, but good seeing you this way. Yes, we'll talk to you very soon. Until next time, I'm out.